Handles tore down a flag that means so much to her and her family. ABC Force Courtney Johns joining us live in studio to explain what happened and the message she now has for the people who did this. Courtney. Glenn, the mother we spoke to is asking that we conceal her identity because she's worried about her family's safety. She says this happened right outside her home in the Sugar House area when someone yanked down that pride flag. LGBTQ people sometimes move through the world in carrying fear that we don't necessarily understand. Tanya says she knew putting up a flag is risky, but it was important she did it. We have a family member that flying that flag means something to. Um, and we just wanted representation in the neighborhood. She says that representation was destroyed over President's Day weekend with someone bending the pole and then ripping part of the flag off as well as stealing several signs. Violation and uh, and fear for my family member. Tanya says she wishes she could sit down with the person who did this and explain to them what this flag means to her family. And especially to the youth in this state because of the high suicide rates among LGBTQ teens that I'm very familiar with. She says she doesn't know if the person responsible for this will ever hear her message, but she says they'll see it again soon with a new flag going in its place. Because we still need to show people that, that we are here and we are inclusive. And if we don't put it back up, then the other person wins and their message is louder than ours. Tanya says she knows of at least one other person who was hit that same night, not far from where she lives. Back to you. All right.